Morning everybody, this is Dr. Steve on a gorgeous, beautiful October day. I am standing or sitting about 25 feet or 30 feet from the place where Rebecca and I got married 13 years ago. Well, in a, in a few days it'll be 13 years. And this is right where we right where we stood. We got married right at the foot or the beginning of Big Spring in Van Buren, Missouri. This is Rebecca's hometown. And this is the largest spring in the world, the, world, the, war, the largest single source of spring in the state or in the uh, in the world in the nation. The second largest in the world, I think there's one in Russia that's a little bigger. But this is a metaphor. The spring is a metaphor for a lot of things. That's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the spring as a metaphor for youth in your body and the water channel in Chinese medicine, which I've talked about before in a video a few times ago. Uh, I want to talk about the concept of spring as a mindset of renewal, and I want to talk about relationships. The first one is the bubbling spring. Uh, bubbling spring in Chinese medicine, as I talked about previously, is K1, which is right at the base of your foot, right there. Okay? When you connect your foot to the earth, you are stimulating the beginning of your kidney channel, your water channel in your body. The youth channel. Think about water as youth, right? Cells that are full of water are younger cells. Like a grape is full of, full of water, right? It's a younger cell. What happens when that grape loses its water, it turns into a raisin. So the whole concept of cellular, cellular health is to keep your cells hydrated. And so that brings me to another point, which is water. You have to have good, clean, electrically charged, preferably fresh spring water. This is like the best water you'll ever see, you'll ever experience in your life. Because it is full of electrically charged, it's just come out of the rocks, it's been in there for, I don't know how long, months, years, eons. But it's electrically charged. And those electrons are antioxidants for your body. Remember that, those negative electrons are antioxidants for, the, for your body. It's the same thing that you get in food. When you eat fresh, uncooked, raw, and especially green food, and especially alkaline, alkaline foods like green food, they are so electrically charged, it's amazing. And that is what your body uses to offset the free radicals in your body, which are positively charged. So it's all about getting more electrons into your system, more electric energy into your system. Okay? If you always eat only cooked food, you're, you're having to work a lot harder to get those electrons. You're, you're having to take your sugar and put it into the electron transport chain and into your mitochondria and crank out these electrons. Why not get, keep them in their original form that the sun made to begin with? Remember, the sun goes into the food, into the green. You eat the green, like the magnesium in the in the green food turns the sun's energy into plant energy. You eat the plant energy, you you have the energy. So you, you eat those electrons. Antioxidants, anti-aging. So, okay, I'm getting off track here a little bit, but bubbling spring, water, uh, nature, going with nature. If you, if you cook the crud out of everything, you're going to destroy what nature has already preserved for you. So eat a lot more raw food. That's a, a big tip for staying young, youthful, and vital. Plus, there's more water in raw food, right? When you cook food, what happens to the water? You lose the water, right? So, so more raw foods, more water, and when I, and as far as the bubbling spring goes, when you connect that foot, stand up here. When you connect that part to the earth, okay, you are also waking up the intrinsic muscles of your foot, which sends your perfect posture all the way through your body. So that's another point is it wakes up the, the little sensors in your foot that give the message of youth and vitality to your body. You have to wake, keep your feet very awake because your feet have like 24 movable bones in them and if they are if they turn into club foots and they don't do anything for you, you lose all that information you should be getting from the earth and that your body uses that information to send to your brain so your brain can make decisions about what muscles to fire at what time. So it's, it should, ha should be happening organically when you connect your bubbling spring to the ground. That goes through your body and your brain gets the message and you have better posture and a better uh, relationship with gravity. 
Okay, so that's the bubbling spring piece. That's the beginning of the kidney meridian. So it's all about water. It's all about keeping hydrated. It's all about uh, eating food that's not cooked to death. Um, the next thing is the mindset of the spring. Right? What is the spring? It is renewal. It's bubbling forth. It's new life. It's boom. It's coming out now. It's amazing the energy I'm feeling right now from this thing. Right? It's just coming through me, and that's what you have to. We we get into the mindset of oh breakdown, oh decay. I'm getting old. And we get into this thought, this, we get stuck in these patterns of thinking that getting old means getting sick, getting, you know, breaking down. So we have to give ourselves, our body, the mindset of renewal, right? If we give our body the mindset of, crap, here I am, I'm breaking down again. See what I just ha happened to my shoulders? It was a thought, oh my gosh, I'm breaking down. And then boom, you go forward. And then that creates posture stress and that creates pain. So a thought can go a long way into destroying you or keeping you young and healthy. So that is the other piece, the mindset. You're constantly renewing. If it takes an affirmation, use an affirmation. I am so grateful that I am renewing every single moment of every single day. And I am feeding my new cells good food, good nutrition, good movement, and good thoughts. Because that's what you're... That's what your cells need to renew in a, in a vital manner. If you, you're constantly making new cells, right? You have a new stomach lining every seven days. You have a new liver every like six months. You have a new, uh, you have a new bone structure. Your, your, your whole skeletal system within a couple of years is brand new. You have to know that every time you make a new cell, it, that new cell depends on the environment that it's in. If you're making a new cell and you're in a, you're in a, in a, crisis situation in your mind, if you're in a scarcity situation, if you're in a fear situation, you're making chemicals of fear, stress, and worry. Those are cortisol, that's epinephrine, that's, that's the fight or flight hormone, and that causes you to break down. So that's what goes into your cells, is that thought of breakdown. The next thing is what kind of food are you giving it? Are you giving it a good food? Are you giving it good uh, natural food for the environment? And lastly, are you giving it good movement? Are you moving correctly and getting good oxygen into your system and bathing those cells in the, giving them the best possible chance to make the best possible baby? That's basically what's happening, is you're making new cell babies all the time. So when you, you immerse yourself in a good environment, you make, you make better babies, right? Lastly, I wanna talk about relationships because this is, this is where Rebecca and I started it all 13 years ago. And it's so important to focus on your relationships as constantly renewing as well. Okay, we get in, we get stuck in the doldrums and the patterns and the programs of the same old, same old in a relationship. Guess what happens? The relationship starts to age just like your body starts to age. You have to keep it fresh, keep it renewed. Okay, so keep that in mind. And every time there's a low point, it's an opportunity to make better high points the next time. You know, we've been up and down just like every couple, right? We've been through lots of situations. This last year has been a very evolutionary year for us. We're losing her brother, losing my mom. Uh, we went down pretty hard, you know, but guess what? We are coming back stronger than ever now. You know, and so it's just important to think of relationships just like your body, constantly renewing, constantly evolving. And as soon as you get stuck, right, that's the death rattle for relationships, stuck in the same old, same old, every single day. You get stuck in that loop, and you might as well make the loop going down the toilet, right? So think of your relationships as renewal. Think, think of your renewing your cells. And get in contact with the earth. Get some of those negative electrons. Get next to a spring. Drink some spring water. Take a walk out in nature. Like I said, just soak it all up. Go with nature, and you'll never go wrong. I love you guys, and we'll see you next time. We're getting charged up right now.